Hello everyone, the new 7.2 mid-season patch is out, which is bringing many new changes to the game, which are actually very, very good. But the devs have also reworked a third stage in the game, Undertow Spillway. And today, we're going to be going over the reworks and seeing how things have been changed in the stage. Subscribe for more Splatoon, and let's get into seeing the new Undertow Spillway reworks. Alright, first time seeing the reworks for Undertow Spillway, and right off the bat, we have got some left side changes. A lot more space here, you can actually go way back here now, and you can go all the way over here. This grate was not here before as well, this was not on the patch, but you know what? Good. This is actually pretty solid here with this cover being here. I thought it was going to be like a flat area with like a lot of exposed stuff here, and it was going to be like very difficult to get up to that top left section, but no! You can actually go all the way over there. I was right with my prediction it was going to be like, like over there. And you can actually go all the way over here, and you can actually take up this left side now, and it's very easy to deal pressure over there now. There's also a weird block thing. <laughs> what is this all about? There's also this interesting wee thing here, which gives you more cover on one side and the other. So this does give you more cover to defend from some pieces. But it's also weirdly uninkable on top of it, which is not a bad thing. Ugh, the voice crack. But you know what? It's fine. This also gives a wee split section here as well. So you know what? It's not bad. Wait a minute. Oh my god, what? Wait, no! No, there's more space? Okay, this is not on the patch notes. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Pass Moth coming up here and actually getting their mouth run over completely. What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, I'm actually in shock now. Hang on, I thought these were going to be terrible after looking at them. Hold the phone. Okay, calm down. I need to look at this carefully. What has been changed? This is a route now. You have got space and cover to go all the way over here, defend this area, and actually get over here now. You've also got, like, an unequal area, which I expected. This is actually pretty good, so now you can very much see if someone's shocking here. That's pretty damn good. And, obviously, this middle section giving you a very easy access. Instead of awkwardly climbing this wall now, you can very much just pop your way up here and down. You can squid roll up. That's good. Yeah, this is good. Oh my god, I'm actually very much happy. I did not think these reworks were going to be good. And you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll admit it right now. Go back to my old video where I, I literally just was talking about the reworks and thinking what was going to happen with them. I was wrong with this side. But that's just this side. We've got more to look into. <laughs> Alright, Middle. You were an asset for being concerned. What has changed about you? Oh, it's a pillow. I thought this was a disc that was added here. No, it's a pillow. And this is actually not inkable. This is just taller. Ooh, okay, actually. And this is inkable here. I don't know why this is not inkable on this side, but you know what? More cover. This block actually shrunken down. I thought this was going to be removed, but no. This is actually just shrunken, so you actually can still right peak and left peak this. But you also have this side for pressure now, and you can also do this. And it's taller as well, so you can still get up here easily and you can defend. What? Okay. Alright, now go on left side. What's been changed here? Very much this still here. I thought this was going to be removed. But no. And this actually isn't as shrunken as I thought. This is actually still here. These reworks were... these. This note was very much not <laughs> accurate in any way. This is much wider now. And it's actually like just smushed back here. So it feels like it's a lot more open now for fighting. I am actually getting my mouth torn out of my- <laughs> getting a torn off my face here. Oh my god. I am blown away. Nintendo, I am sorry. Very interesting how that's there. Would have been nice if you had an inkling going up here, but you know what? It's not bad. I love this right here. You can just go- you actually can get under the glass by, without anyone seeing you. This flank going all the way over here. You can still see through the glass, and it is a lot higher now, so it's going to be a lot harder seeing anyone coming over here. But you can actually go under here and sneakily get up on top of here without anyone seeing you. It's impossible to see someone if you're standing like this. Well, unless you're over here, but even then, that's good. And this is actually isn't a raised block. I thought this was going to be raised up here, but no, it's cut away, which is very interesting. All right, Nintendo. Okay, we're cooking. I should have let you guys cook more often. I mean, I don't trust you guys because you've ruined a lot of stuff with the game. But you know what? This is not one of those times. You're cooking here. I love it so far. These are some pretty solid reworks with some obviously weird things. But like this being raised up so it's hard to see the people down there unless you look away up here. Like even then you can't even see down there. It's hard to see down there now. Like these are good. I'm going to give them a rating right now. We'll get into the rank stuff because this is solid actually. This 
is not a 1 out of 10. It's not a 4 out of 10. This is like an 8 out of 10. Not only can you put a charger up here and here, but you also have shooters just like myself. Go right here, paint this area up, throw bombs much easier. Because this right here, you have to stand on this very like weird grate, and it wouldn't really even get that close behind. Now you could stand much closer, and you can throw it much closer behind that wall there. That was not a good example, but you can still cover the bridge very much. This is good. This is like an... Oh. Let's go to the rank stuff. 8 out of 10, man. 8 out of 10, goddamn. There's not too many changes with zones so far. This area is still relatively the same, but that left side's been cut down. Um, yeah, sort of. I think it was kind of like this, but I think it's been taken away a little bit. I'm not too sure. Oh, there's a block. There's cover here now. Okay. I don't know if this was here before, because I've barely been over here, but this is good. This is nice for cover here. And you can actually see people down here, like... Not bad. And you can also easily rotate over the side. And you, can, you can also not just shoot over here, but you can actually shoot a bit more on the ground, so you can actually shoot further across. Because if, if I'm shooting, like, if I'm standing here and I'm firing, like, this is what you have to do before. And it wouldn't go that far away. Now I can shoot about here. And this covers a lot more paint. Look, look at that. It's going from, like, there to there. Not too many changes that are, like, in general for this, but good. Is the sponge still here? Yes, that's great. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't take the sponge away because this is actually really solid. Oh, wait, can you- You can be this jump now because the block's not here. Yes! Oh my god, this is actually great. Look at this. I'm not too sure how good this is going to be for zone specifically, but this area allowing you to hide underneath there and, like, do work underneath the enemy zone or your own and make it easier to flank over here. Still a solid. It's probably not as good as what turf is because zones need more extension. Like, this needs to have a wider zone going down. Like, a bit more extension, maybe. Like, maybe put on the ramp a little bit. But this is out of here. This is new. So that's pretty interesting how this is new right here. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, zones. It's all so far. It's actually not much much chip and change, but I'm still gonna give it like a six. Maybe not even six. A seven, maybe an eight out of ten. I'll give it like a seven. Yeah, I think seven's a solid one to go for. Don't wanna go over it. Could be an eight. Could be an eight. Hands are up. Off controller. Hands are up. It could be an eight. But I'm going to go up a 7 just to be safe, because it is zones after all, and on, um, on undertow. Alright sir, how have you been changed whatsoever? Let's see. Left side has a block. Ooh, wait, this is interesting. This is a block here now. It's inkable on this side. This is a bit easier for retakers to go up here and deal pressure now. You can actually like, right side beat this top area now. That's good. This sponge is still here. You can go up here. And... Oh! They've added a ramp here! Wait, no. Was this ramp here before? No! This ramp wasn't here! Hang on. Was it? I'm... No, it was here. I'm confused. <laughs> My brain can fuzzle. This right side, sponge... I believe this was here before? Was this here before? I don't remember if this was here before. If this wasn't here before, that's good, actually. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was. This seems to be... Nothing much has changed. There's this unequal section to kind of like make it easier. So this actually has a bit more reason to go this direction now. This area is still here. This is awesome. You can actually go around middle now. This actually does give an alternate path. Maybe it's not exactly around around, but it's cool that it's here. And I still love it pieces. The middle part isn't here though, because mainly for the tower. And these checkpoints haven't been changed. They're still right next to it, but I guess it's fair since you still have the upper high ground there. There needs to be more angles to like deal pressure from here. You still have like down here, but this is not good. This is low ground. That's the only high ground you have. This checkpoint hasn't really been changed too much. Maybe a little further forward? I think this actually might be further back actually. This feels further back compared to like where this was. This feels like it has more room here. I don't think this has changed at all, actually. I think this is exactly the same how it was. You'll go up here, and then you'll be able to just jump across here, you know. Yeah, I, don't, I think this is just kind of the same, which is actually... Alright, this isn't as revolutionary as the other one so far, but you know what? It's some nice quality lives. For tower control specifically, it's nice to have these under sections right here, and I actually love it. it takes the term undertow spill weight. <laughs> it, takes the, it takes the term of undertow... Of under the spell weight <clears throat> to like a whole new level and it actually makes it an undertow. An undertow. Pretty alright. This is like still a solid seven. Maybe a maybe a six because it's not as revolutionary, but it's still like alright. I think a seven out of ten might be actually better for this because that left side is easier to go over here. Because when, once the enemy got up here, you would just be able to take possession up here. But now by retaking, you can go up here easier. And I'm pretty sure that since the right side's got a bit of a better use over here, you can actually retake on this side a bit easier now. I'm not too sure, but that's okay. We'll give it a 7 out of time, because, yeah, that's cool.
Oh, that's nice. All right, Rainmaker, how are you? Not much change on the left side, that's cool. This area is still Rainmaker 3. This area is actually pushed up to here now. I swear this is much further down here. That's interesting. This block is still here. It's cool. It gives you more defense. Actually gives you a lot more, like, cover for this kind of area here. So you can actually, like, come and poke this pedestal a lot easier. This actually is a good position now, because you can actually poke it here now. Obviously someone can come over here, but you can still stand here and poke this side a little bit. Or you can defend the Rainmaker pedestal a lot easier by going like, standing here, or you can like stand to the ledge and just fire here. So this is a lot easier to like cover this right side, or yeah, the or the left, yeah, the right path. You have like more areas to pull from, like one, two, three, four, five different areas you can kind of pull from. Technically six, if you, uh, six if you count down here, but it's not that great because you're pretty exposed on the left side. It's like five or six different areas you can kind of stand from. Which is alright. What about the left path? Has it been changed too much? I don't... Ooh, hello. There's a bit of cover here now. Very interesting defense position here. We can actually stand down here now. Instead of being up there locked out. So you can actually kind of defend the pedestal here. You can come back and just defend this high ground here. Have more high ground is generally better. Ink rail, kind of the same. More or less. That's not bad. There's still a cover up there, which is very nice. You can go over here. And you can actually use this block here as defense for the Rainmaker as well. So it makes it a bit easier pushing the right side if you get control of this area. So you can like stand down here now um, as a way to get through here. Oh, they've added the pillow here as well. And they've widened it as well. You know what? Pretty good actually. This makes this right path a lot easier. Longer, but much, much safer. Like, they've really shown that you can like, like the variation between taking the very, very risky and very, like highly defendable right path, but also very quick to break or the very slow but very safe left route with a lot of defense and a lot of hard positions to defend from. And of course you have like the routes that were once here before. Now, you can go up there before, but now you have this pillow and that block as defense to get to the checkpoint and bring up here. And you can still make this jump here, which is pretty nice. So far pretty good. There's some nice little changes to this. And yeah, I give it another 7 out of 10. Probably an 8 actually, because you can actually defend this checkpoint right here a lot easier. Like, instead of having just a block here and this right side, this awkward right side down here to some degree, you do have more defense from this position. Not only that, we have a retreating sponge as well. So you have one, two, three, um, four, I guess. Five. I guess, okay, this is four. Five. <clears throat> and then six different angles to defend the pedestal from. Take the seven if you want to count it here as well. But you've got a lot of different angles to pretend from, or pretend def defend from. Now immediately this left side is going to be humongous for clan blitz just in general because this left side was terrible for like retaking this top section. Once an enemy got up here, it was impossible to retake. But now you have not only you have this position to like defend this kind of area, throw bombs and all that, and try and position here, but you can also go up here and you have multiple positions to take retaking this top section, throw a bomb comes down here then you can pre-fire you can also come over here and you can like go up like this and you can defend this area much easier you can also add the section back here which is really nice and of course you can go under here you can go around left side it's a lot easier and don't have the there's no ramp here to go all the way up which is fine nothing wrong about that a lot harder to see enemies coming down from this right side you have the block that was once there i'm pretty sure that wasn't there before now in terms of roast the basket i think it is more or less the same you can come up here and you can defend uh can you break this still no not quite I uh, don't think that was a plan thing to do before, but you can go over here, you still have an easier access to the basket, and you can still break, which is neat. You also still have the defendable sponge here. Like how this is still here on like all the, all the modes in some way. Tower control will only be the difference by having that over here instead of being over there. Which is not a bad thing, but you have massive and I mean huge defense. It's pretty good. This actually acts as double defense. So as a charger plate, you can stand up here and there's no risk really of you of someone like coming on this side and they have to hit through a small crack or like get fall off shots instead of direct shots, which is very good for backliners. I've also brought back the wee jump here where you can just kind of run up here. And you actually can approach the basket from middle now. Instead of like standing up here awkwardly and having to shimmy across, you now have this section where you can just go like up here and you can like throw it in, like back to clams quickly and just run across. You can get clam ball, you can go up here and then you can kind of come this direction instead of going all this way and you have a bit of defense against and we'll stand up here. So it's actually pretty all right. You go this direction, instead of like going up the awkward wall, which is kind of slow, you can now jump up here, squid roll for armor, doing more squid rolls, and then you just dunk it in the basket. Not like right there, but you can still 
break it fairly easy at a fairly good distance. Overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. Really solid, lots of new movement paths and lots of new cover which you can use to defend and take back different positions. So yeah, that's the Undertow Spellway reworks. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say it right now, from my last video when I was being very judgmental, there was not enough here to me to be like, like, well, criticizing this. Not nearly enough was reworked, not nearly clear enough to like showcase it. Similar to how like the Mitsumi reworks were like. I am hugely wrong and I am very sorry, I'm very apologetic. I am so sorry to everyone that I like very much I'm infuriated at the comments and like just people watching the video. Is it gonna be perfect? No. But this is probably one of the best reworks we've gotten across all the modes. Mahi being right behind it and just generally like closing the area down. I can't make a jump. But that's good. I'm very happy this stage is actually solid now. To a degree. It's like a lot better in some modes. Will it be perfect? No. But overall the reworks, they're good. So yeah, I was very wrong with the reworks for Undertow Spillway, and the stage has been transformed from a humble mess into something a bit more glorious among the Splatoon 3 stage roster. There are some fixes that can still be added to make the stage perfect, but I would be completely fine if the stage rested like this. It works, and that's what matters. And again, it is my sincere apology to everyone I offended. I knew I may have jumped to a conclusion with the initial post of the reworks, but that's largely due to the fact that the devs love to drop useless or minimal patch notes that do nothing for the game. But this is one of the few moments I can relax and cherish with both the stage reworks and the mid-season patch being amazing. And I hope you all enjoyed it too, as well as enjoying this video, which if you did, why not subscribe for more Splatoon content, and I'll see you all in the next video.